Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we're going to look at Australia, the Philippines, Indonesia, the UK and the USA. We'll start in Australia, which has been in the news a lot lately. Torrential rains hit Australia as conspiracy theorists blame aviation company for floods. Handel Aviation Operator Mark Handel told AFP that the company does not seed clouds. An Australian aviation company says it has received more than 100 threats following an online conspiracy theory that its pilots unleashed a flooding disaster by cloud seeding. So the first thing to notice about that is similar to the report from last week in America, scientists in the US are flying planes into clouds to make it snow more where the program manager for Wyoming's weather modification program admits she gets lots of calls about what they are doing. So last week in America, we're hearing people are calling up these places and saying, what's going on? And now also in Australia, it's a bit hard to say whether Handel Aviation are involved with any kind of weather modification activity. There isn't anything on their website that suggests anything like that. But what we do know is, is Snowy Hydro does carry out weather modification activities in the Snowy Mountains and they have quite a large target area. The Philippines. In the Manila Times, cloud seeding operations are now being undertaken. That's 10 days ago. From the 5th of April, the NWRB have started cloud seeding operations to induce rain. So weather modification activities in the Philippines then over to Indonesia, where a province's disaster management agency has requested weather modification to induce rainfall. That was also about 10 days ago. So the Philippines are doing it, Indonesia have requested it. Over to the UK, mentioned MIT, covering this tech in a recent video. If you want more information on the University of Bath involvement in new methods to trigger rain, You'll find a link to that with links to everything else in the information section of this video. So in the article shows a picture, a drone carrying an electric charge is tested in the UK. This is one of the first times scientists have used drones in an attempt to stimulate rainfall from clouds. So it's worth noting here with that statement, so we're in 2022, these experiments were done in 2021. So during a climate crisis that is well known about in the 21st century, scientists are trying to stimulate rainfall from clouds using drones. So during a climate crisis which has unexpected weather events, extreme weather events that the world is experiencing, scientists are modifying the weather with drones. There isn't much detail about the experiments in the UK. Hopefully we can establish more as time proceeds. The UK's MOD, Army Technology website, Kinetic paves the way to net zero. This is all about a company who wants to help the Ministry of Defence get to net zero. They state they're investing in developing technologies that the Ministry of Defence could integrate into their future platforms worth noting there is technologies and platforms so multiples one of them is the electrification of land vehicles that's one of the technologies there's not much else mentioned then there is randomly the Malaysian Air Force's cloud seeding media picture most people have probably seen that at some point or another and there's nothing really said about that geoengineering should scientists study how to dim the Sun no so we'll just leave that there. From our local weather service on the 13th of April, the weather is partly sunny with sprinkles. And then later on it was clearing with sprinkles. If anyone knows what kind of sprinkles we were sprinkled with, please let us know. But I don't think it's the sugar ones. Over to Oregon, there's a political piece talking about how political people are talking about how they're proposing to try cloud seeding, weather modification, or using aircraft or drones to add particles of silver iodide to clouds. There's the drones again being used for weather modification. 
Just to be clear, that's drones adding silver iodide to clouds, whereas the UK one was drones which were creating an electrical charge to stimulate rainfall. Drones being used for different technologies to modify the weather during a climate crisis. So one of the politicians apparently denied the existence of climate change and said drought conditions are caused by the government. So because they're a climate change denier, obviously it makes the drought conditions are caused by the government thing a conspiracy theory, doesn't it? We know drought somewhere is a common side effect of weather modification elsewhere. So is that caused by the government? Well, Oregon does have state laws on weather modification, whereby the purpose is to promote the public health, safety and welfare by providing for the licensing regulation and control of interference by artificial means with the natural precipitation of rain, snow, hail, moisture or water in any form contained in the atmosphere. That legislation is from 1953. So essentially that politician's right, the government is responsible, there's even regulation to govern it. So is weather modification a thing in Oregon? Yes. 2016 covered this story weather modifiers see fog removing tech at medford airport it's from the associated press medford oregon weather modification professionals are in medford to see the city's fog clearing technology at the medford airport oregon's weather is definitely modified and the next time we'll take a look at a book from 1974 snowpack cloud seeding and the colorado river a technology assessment of weather modification as mentioned from 1974 so 45 years ago don't forget to keep an eye on the climate crisis take care look after yourselves see you next time